fine tuning a model or using a rag system which one is better obviously fine tuning because this is the way you can tell to your model or train your model on a specific data set but what if you want to do the fine tuning on closed source models like model from google or open ai it's easy to get access to the open source model like meta's llama and fine tune it over your specific data set but here it's difficult but not more because OpenAI has announced that it has opened the fine tuning of their latest and the greatest model GPT 4.0 just after the announcement from the Google that they have allowed you to fine tune the Gemini 1.5 flash which is the smaller model but OpenAI has taken a step really ahead with its greatest model being fine tuned and yes this is the post just released from the OpenAI and it says that fine tuning custom versions of GPT 4.0 to increase performance and accuracy of your application so what happened basically when you use rag system you have a very small data set you feed it to the model and model will just read the data set and then give you the response according to it but what if you can train the existing model with some huge amount of data set you already own and then ask some question about that specific thing in that case you don't have to just use the rag system and vectorizing embedding a lot of other things so how it works basically the openai launched the gpd 40 fine tuning and it offer 1 million training tokens per day that means you can have the training with 1 million for free and it will reset on the next day so it's really amazing thing and you can see that fine tuning gpt 40 with custom data set can help you to get higher performance at lower cost and what if you have fine tuned the model but is it going to be available on the chat gpt where it will be available so basically what happened is when you use the fine tuning of gpt 4.0 then it will create another model a model just for you and they will going to host it their inference having a cost of 3.7 dollar per million input token and 15 dollar per million output token so it's just like how much question you ask and then how much response you get with millions token you just need to give 15 dollar on the output and 3.75 dollar on the input but gpt 4 fine tuning cost you 25 dollar per million token obviously this is not much if you have really really complex data and you want to feed it to chat gpt get the best of the chat gpt knowledge with the data set you have and then fine tune it for your specific need gpt 40 mini fine tuning is also available to all the developers with the paid version now let's talk about what happened when you actually fine tune a model so see here it says that they have some case studies and first case is about this genie now genie is a simple software developer i can say ai software developer it's remind me of the devin the killer <laughs> and yes it is better than devin it's available and it's available with the waiting list actually and you can actually see that how great this jenny become when it is fine-tuned over gpt 4.0 model with a real software engineering at work so initially the genie was only able to get 30 percent on swe benchmark now what is swe benchmark let me show you so swe benchmark is basically says that can a language model resolve real world github issues so that's really really powerful because now with fine tuning on gpt 40 model jenny achieve state of the art score of 43.8 percent that's really incredible now 
If you compare this with just a RAG system with 3.5 GPT, it's only 0.4. What if with GPT-4, it's 2.8. GPT-4 with SWE agent, it's just 22, but the fine-tuned version of Cosine Genie is 43.8%. That's really a great achievement and significant improvement in the model response. Take an example of this Distal AI. Now, Digital AI is actually a company who is working on an AI system which is leading text to SQL generation. So you ask like, give me four users from my database. It actually create the SQL query for you. But how accurately it can create the SQL query for you? For that, if it is fine-tuned with GPT-40, it can achieve 71.83% on the leaderboard. That means it's so amazing to have the text to SQL, which is really going to solve many problems as developer we face. Okay, so you can see the difference between different different combinations of the model with the fine-tuned companies. So Gemini with recap can only get up to 69.3% on the test and 66.95 on the development. But the distilled with GPT-40 fine tuning can really reach 67.21. That's so great. But the real question comes, what about the data privacy and safety? So as the OpenAI says, this ensure your data is never shared or used to train other model. This is they say and you need to believe you don't have any option otherwise to believe them. But basically they say that if you fine tune with your custom data set, the business data is having full ownership to you. That means OpenAI will not going to use it to train their model. But how do you verify that the data is used to train or not? So this is this is a little controversial thing and because of this the question comes do you really need a closed source model and fine tune it with your custom data to have the real powerful response from the LM or the AI because if you do so you are stuck with the open AI only you always need to use the open AI 4.0 model and in future if new model comes then you need to train it again and you need to cost and open AI will going to cost you something obviously and this will not going to happen if you use the open source models now let me know in the comment section if you want me to create videos on fine-tuning of model or if what you think that Fine-tuning an open source model is better or fine-tuning a closed source model just like OpenAI for GPT-40. Which one is better? So let me know in the comment section and if you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends and on the social media platforms. And if you have gained as any knowledge from this video, consider subscribing because that's important for me. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.